Hey guys, so today I want to talk about Uber and all these videos that I've seen about being uh, the worst place ever to work, uh, how they take advantage of you, they take 50%, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. Well, I'm here to tell you the truth and the facts. I did my first Uber trip, had my first rider, and lo and behold, against the odds of all the negativity out there, not only did I get five stars on my very first ever trip, I got a tip right off the bat. So it can't be all that bad, can it? I watch so many videos about Uber and how you get taken advantage of and this and that and the other. And I started to get thinking, you know, I have spare time. I want to do something. Gosh, do I want to do this? It seems like a ripoff. You know, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. So I just said, screw it. Let me try it and see what happens. Not only was it fun, not only was my first ride actually awesome, my passenger was amazing. She was very nice, very polite. Um, we had a great time. And the bottom line is, in 15 minutes, uh, I made 12 bucks. Now, granted, you're not going to retire on that. I understand that. But I own a small business. Shameless plug. Uh, we do online uh, hobby stuff. And I have a lot of free time after all the orders are processed and packaged and everything goes out. Um, I have some free time after I do housework and play Mr. Mom and all that kind of stuff. I thought, you know, do something for a couple hours every day, make a few bucks. Well, 12 bucks in 15 or 16 minutes is not terrible. It comes out to about 40 bucks an hour if you could do it consistently. I won't be able to do it consistent where I'm at. We just don't have that kind of clientele. We don't have that kind of... Uh, uh, kind of neighborhood, if you will. We're not in a city and kind of rural, um, you know, so that that's, it's not going to be like, you know, every time you turn the Uber app on, it's going to be going crazy on you. Um, our rides are going to be farther and fewer between and everything. But having said that, you know, if you can go out and make 20 bucks an hour for a couple hours in your spare time, uh, why not? But I, I read all the reviews. I watched all the videos and everybody's negative. They take so much percentage, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's a business and they have to pay their bills. I spent over 20 years in the trucking business. There's a reason that you pay a broker fee. There's a reason that you get paid a percentage less than what the company makes. They have a financial responsibility. They have payroll. They have insurance. They have all these things and the infrastructure to run the business so you can go haul the loads and make a living. So I'm never the guy that's upset if I agree to haul something, just let's for round numbers, let's say for a hundred bucks, and I find out after the fact they're getting 125. Well, of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? They have to make money. I get it. I, I get it. As long as I get paid what I agreed to do it for, and I do those numbers in my head, or I put them in a spreadsheet, and I look at every cost and every expense, and as long as the numbers work out at the end, I, I'm I'm pleased with that. I'll do it. And, uh, you know, there's all joy in Mudville at that point. But there's so much negativity, so much negativity about the Amazon Flex guys, the Lyft guys, the Uber Eats, the Uber drivers. I mean, what I see, I'm old school. I got a job to do. I dress appropriately. My vehicle smells nice. It's clean. It's clean on the inside. It's clean on the outside. It's clean in the door jams. Uh, I play decent quiet music when somebody's in the car, try to have a pleasant environment, try to learn when to interact with people and when not to. Um, some people just don't want to be talked to and that's fine. I'm not here to be their friend. I, I'm not here looking for a friend. You want to try to give them a good experience. You want to make the money. You want to move on to the next ride and you want to go home or, or do whatever else is in your life. So uh, I see a lot of negativity. I read a lot of, of, of uh, posts and threads and blogs about, oh, they take advantage of this. They take advantage of that. They, they only pay you for two hours and you have to work two hours and 15 minutes and blah, 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 blah. Life is not unicorns and rainbows, folks. Uh, it's just not that way. It's not a fairy tale. You've obviously watched way too many movies or way too many daytime soap operas where every chick is hot Every wallet is thick and every day is glorious. It's just not that way. Uh, so Uber, awesome. Totally loved it. First trip, five stars, got a tip. Um, had a great time, really enjoyed it. 
So just to point out, the Uber app is easy, simple. I didn't even test it. I didn't even try it before I went out and, and took my first uh, uh, trip. It, it, it's self-explanatory. If you struggle with the Uber app, you may want to consider some other form of business than something online. Because I'm not a tech guy. I'm an old fart. And I'm not tech savvy like a lot of these kids. I figured it out in two seconds. Didn't even do a dry run with it. Just got in the car, turned on the app, got a ride, took the lady over to the place she wanted to go. She was happy. I was happy. It was as easy as pie. Uh, I think a lot of this is what you make of it. If you go into your day in anything you do with a negative attitude of, hey, everybody owes me something. I only want to work two hours and get paid for three. If you have that attitude about things, you're just going to be miserable and you're not going to have a success in anything that you do. Um, you know, recently I got into a little uh, back and forth with somebody on YouTube, um, uh, 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 same subject, and, uh, and I basically said, look, just stop complaining. Stop blaming everyone. You worked 30 minutes longer. Well, we do that all the time in the trucking business. You'll drive 100 miles to get a load. You'll drive 200 miles deadhead, not making a penny, to go get a load. Uh, local drivers in the morning will drive 30, 40 miles sometimes, an hour, hour and a half, to go to a job site to start their day at 7 o'clock. You got to be up at four. You got to pre-trip the truck. You got to get fuel, whatever, whatever you got to do. And then you got to drive across the state or wherever you're driving to get to that job. And then your time starts. This guy that was complaining on YouTube, I mean, and complaining really badly too. Um, you're not the Lone Ranger, buddy. They, they, that's the way it is when you're a 1099 driver. This is the rate. This is where the job is. Either take it or don't because there's 500 guys behind you that will, that know how to work. Work smart, don't work hard. Be efficient, be effective, make the most of your day. But if you have to get in a vehicle and you have to drive 30 miles to go start your day, okay, that, that's what you chose to do. If that doesn't work for you, if Uber or Amazon Flex or any of these things don't work for you, go back to school, get a degree, go be a rocket scientist, go work for SpaceX or, or whatever you think you're entitled to. Oh, did I just say entitled? Hmm. It's one of those words I don't think you're allowed to say anymore. Uh, you know, it, it's just too much. It, it's really too much. I, I enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed my Uber experience starting off. The initial ride was great. The app is great. Everything is, is wonderful. It was easy to sign up. I've read stories and saw videos where it's so horrible to sign up. Well, I don't know. I Maybe I cross my T's and dot my I's better than you. I, I don't know. Maybe I don't, I, you know, maybe I miss stuff. I don't know, but it was very simple. It was very easy. It was a lot of fun. And in our area, unfortunately, it's not going to be like you're Ubering in New York or Las Vegas or LA or San Francisco or something. Um, you know, we're a little more rural, so I'm not going to have as much activity. I'm not going to make as much money, but for the time that I do put in that I go out there, it's absolutely fantastic. Nobody to answer to, no boss breathing down my neck, uh, nobody micromanaging me. And, you know, driving kind of has been my life uh, for many, 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 many years. That's all I did. I worked behind the wheel of a truck, uh, some truck. I mean, the only thing I haven't uh, hauled in my lifetime is nuclear waste and rocket fuel. Other than that, I've hauled pretty much at one point or another just about every commodity there is. Uh, and I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. Back in the day, I actually enjoyed it. Um, and then I got, you know, got away from it. But the point being Uber, awesome, totally fun. I had a great time. Can't wait to go get my next ride. It, it's, it's that easy, but appreciate you guys. Um, I hope it puts a little positive spin on the whole Uber talk. Cause I know there's so much negativity out there. I'm just a regular guy. I'm not a YouTuber. I don't care if I have five subscribers or 5 million subscribers. I, I don't care about any of that. I'm not doing this to get video views. I'm not doing this for revenue. I'm doing this to be honest and tell you the facts. And the facts are Uber, totally awesome, totally easy. And, and we're in a rural area. We're not busy. If you go somewhere where you're busy and you have the right mindset and you prepare yourself for a good day's work, you can kill it. You could absolutely kill it. No question in my mind. Appreciate you guys. Uh, I will try to do some videos of some upcoming rides and uh, anything that I can think of to share with you guys that's pertinent. 
for new Uber drivers and whatnot, I will certainly do so. And if I'm wrong on anything or uh, I'm, I have my, my numbers crossed, my wires wrong, and please, in the comments down below, uh, let me know. I'll be happy to uh, be happy to, to discuss it with you. Uh, I like I like input. I like feedback. I like people, uh, you know, helping educate me, and and hopefully I can share a little something with you guys as well. Appreciate it. Don't forget to like, uh, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. If not, that's fine too. Have a great day. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.